Hey guys, Gaming the XP here, and welcome to Streets of Rage 4. The series itself I really enjoyed back in the Genesis, and I figured I'd give this one a try too. But anyways, in this gameplay, we're just going to be focusing on stage 1. Because as it turns out, there's a lot of ways you can play through this one stage, surprisingly. Whether it's with the characters having different abilities, special attacks, and even the difficulty itself can offer many different ways to play through this one stage. Here, I'll be using Adam, and I like him in particular because he actually has a dash. Not every character has one, so... I try to play through this level as quick as I can. And as a quick note, most of these clips you're seeing, I am playing on easy. And the reason I'm doing that is because, as I said before, I'm kind of just speed running through it. And also, when you're on the easy difficulty, doing your special attacks drains less health from you, so you can do it more repeatedly. And before anyone asks, yes, I have beat this game on normal, which is why I wanted to do something different for a change. But anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy this playthrough. I'll get back to you once this is over, and I'll sh talk about the next one. I hope you enjoy.
Alright, so now that we've beat that on easy, now let's try it on Mania with a different character and see just how much changes with this. I got bombs in these arms. So one thing you might notice right away is there are more, a lot more enemies that pop up in this. They also move a lot faster. They're, they're also a lot more aggressive. They have more health, and they're generally just a bigger pain to deal with. So basically, these guys don't let you breathe. You're just gonna be surrounded at all times. They'll circle around you. At you, it's pretty crazy. And this part here, I hate these guys that have the, that are holding the knives. And there's just a ton of them here. Look at them. There's so many. I got lucky that time, but usually they're a pain for me to deal with. And then once you get to the mid boss, you'll notice. Oh, now you're fighting two of them. So yeah, one on their own I can deal with for the most part, but when you start getting two of them and they start using that telekinesis bullshit with the pipes, it gets kinda annoying. So yeah, um, I'm not a big fan of fighting two of them at once, but that really shows what changes. It's just going up from easy to mania though. Now here, when you get to the boss at the end of the stage, she has an attack where she's invulnerable for a few seconds, where she's doing like a super attack. And normal attacks can't cancel her out of it, but if you use a star move, that'll break, a, that'll break her out of that uh, super attack verse no matter what. Now, if you have four star attacks and you use all four, and you follow up with regular attacks, you can actually kill her before she spawns her goons. So yeah, don't want to deal with the goons, just have four star attacks ready and take her out that way. So there I showed you another way you can take care of the boss without, without having to deal with the goons. But alright, let's play for it again. Now we'll use a different character. We'll use Max. And as you can see, his look is based off his um, old Genesis look. When you're playing him on the easy difficulty, and you can just spam that charge move, it makes a big, big, big difference. Because it makes a big difference when you're playing Max on the easy versus Maximania, because on easy at least, you can spam that charge attack, and where he's normally the slowest character in the game, now, not only is he fairly fast, but he just plows through everything. Everything he plows through. He doesn't give a shit if you use him fucking lightning bolt in the ground. He just plows right through that with a special. He doesn't give a shit. Like, look at this. Right through her super armor and lightning and everything. And he's just like, you know what? I don't give a shit about your lightning. Well, let's check out one more character. Let's see what Shiva can do. Holy shit! 